Hi everyone, it's Laura and today I'm talking about how I study in dental school. I've been getting a lot of requests for this video because I have so many quizzes each week. Like for our class we have at least three to four per week. I just wanna put this out there before I get started. Everyone has a different learning style and what works for me may not work for you, but if you do wanna see how I study then keep watching. Also, there's a cold going around my class right now and I just caught it, so I'm sick. In class, I attend lecture. My lectures aren't readily available online, like the lecture recordings, and so I have to make sure to go to class so I don't miss anything that's going on. Also, my professors will emphasize the important stuff that we need to know for our tests and for board exams. And we're paying really, really high tuition for our professor's time and so I want to make sure that I'm in class and I'm present and I'm actively learning. I use the application OneNote, which is a really popular program that basically everyone in my class uses. Um, what we do is we import our PDF files that are provided by our lecturers, like before class, have those ready, and then in class, will take notes on it and it's really easy to use because you can either like draw on it. I have a surface so I'll write in my notes or people with like Macs or regular laptops will just like type in their notes and it's really easy because it syncs to your OneDrive so you have your notes accessible basically anywhere you have internet. Here's what my OneNote looks like. Um, here are all of my folders for my classes, my notebooks, and then for this specific class, I'll organize it into different weeks. So we just started this one and we're three weeks into our um, perio class. Over here, I'll organize it by what day. I'll write things that I need to know. Uh, like it's really easy to connect different slides because you can just draw arrows. And yeah, it's really convenient. I really like using OneNote and definitely recommend it for all of your lecture notes. So then during class or like right after class, I will plan out my whole study schedule for the week. And right now I'm using Google Calendar and it's been working really well for me. This is what my Google Calendar looks like for this past week. I have allocated all of my blocks of studying in red and then classes are in these different colors. Here I studied oral micro all day Sunday. On Monday I just studied teeth. And on Tuesday, I did pre-class assignments and then studied teeth, more pre-class assignments, practiced waxing, studied perio because I had two perio quizzes on Thursday, and then practiced waxing again, did some pre-class stuff, and then did waxing midterm and went to class. If you prefer to use physical planners, like those actual little notebook planners, then I recommend this company called Lilac Paper. Um, they make really cute planners for dental hygiene and for dental students and you can personalize it with your name and it will say like RDH or DMD or DDS and it's super cute. The next thing is where I study. I like to study in my apartment or at cafes because I like to have easy access to food. In my apartment, I don't study in my room. Even though I do have a desk in my room, I like to study on the dining table because I can spread everything out and like see all my notes. Studying in cafes are nice because you get a nice change of scenery, but it does tend to get expensive ordering like drinks and snacks. So I try to limit myself to going to study at a cafe maybe like once a week. I don't like to study at my school's library because it's kind of like I'm there eight hours a day already for classes and I don't want to spend extra time there to study so I'd rather go somewhere else to study. All right, so how I study is I review and read all of my materials at least twice. I'll skim the readings and I'll focus on the figures and textbooks because most of the text itself is covered in our lectures. I'll make sure that I understand every single bullet point that's listed in our lecture slides. If I don't understand something, then I will either refer back to the textbook or I will Google the topic to make sure I understand it better. All of the textbooks that we've used so far are available in PDF form and so I don't have any actual physical textbooks so I don't highlight. If I do find important points then I'll just add them into the like, I'll, I don't know, I'll go back into the lecture notes in OneNote and then I'll write down those important notes from the textbook into the slides that are relevant to what the topic is. I will say that our material that we're learning is not so much difficult. I mean, it is like 
pretty up there but it's more load intensive than it is difficult so it's just a lot of material that we have to digest every single week. The next thing I'll do is if there are end of chapter questions or supplemental questions that are provided by professors then I will do all of them. So I'll show you guys um, a little example. So this is um, our PDF form of our dental anatomy textbook. And then at the end of the chapter, there's always review questions. And so I will go through all of these questions. So most of the time I use OneNote just to write out my notes and stuff, but I will sometimes use handwritten notes and write those on loose leaf paper. And I like to use loose leaf paper, like just printing paper rather than a notebook because I like to lay out all of my notes when I want to and like see everything and I don't like to flip through all, through all the pages. Here we go. This is my, well, just one page of one of my notes for mandibular premolars. And so I'll like write, here's the difference between the first and second premolars and then I wrote like I highlighted the different views, so here's the buccal view, lingual view, proximal views. Also, another tool that I use for studying is a whiteboard. I got this giant, like super big whiteboard from Costco for only like, I think it was around 20 bucks and it's like really, really big and it came with pens and a, an eraser and I definitely recommend that because it's really good when you're trying to memorize things, like when I was trying to memorize the top 30 most prescribed drugs, I would write down the brand name, the generic name, its use, its side effects, all on the whiteboard and like erase it and then keep rewriting it and it was really helpful for me. I will show you guys quickly how I make a flow chart, for example, of um, our innate immune response, which is something that we're studying and that I'm studying for next week's quiz. I just made this one really quickly and then I will erase it and then I'll keep drawing it until I get it down and then I'll move on to the next concept that I have to memorize. Another thing that I like to do sometimes is study in groups. Definitely recommend studying in groups for anatomy because you don't want to go into cadaver lab alone and it helps a lot when you have other people there so you can learn from each other. Just regular lecture material. I prefer to study alone. And then on the day of the test, I will wake up an extra hour early and review all of my materials briefly while I'm eating breakfast and then leave my apartment and then go and take the test. I wanted to answer a quick question that I got about how my professors grade in dental school. So my professors are very, very fair graders. Most of our quizzes are multiple choice and like our tests are multiple choice. Some of them are fill in the blank or short answer. But if there is a poorly written question or a majority of our class got the question wrong, then our professors will definitely take that into consideration and it will most likely be taken off of our final score. Also, my classes are not curved and it's really nice because everyone in dental school is smart. And so when I get my grades, I make sure to compare those grades to myself and not to others. Definitely helps when I'm studying because when I'm studying, I'm just trying to do my best and not comparing myself to others and how others are studying and hopefully perform the best that I can on test day. So that's pretty much how I study right now. I'm pretty sure that'll change over the course of the next four years of dental school, but it's working for me pretty well right now. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, then make sure to thumbs up and subscribe for more dental school videos. Also, leave me comments below um, for more video suggestions like this one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!